Hey, it's me, Ivan. Um, I splurged and bought a box of cards. Actually, bought three boxes of cards, but a couple of them I'm not going to open for a while. Like this 2012 Donruss Elite, or sorry, Panini Elite. Uh, it has an Andrew Luck rookie card in it, I guarantee it. Um, and the other one I'm not going to open for a while, even though people have been begging me to, is this box of official licensed trading cards, Panini Prism World Cup that I got. So these are relatively hard to find these days at a hobby shop and happen to find one at Bullpen 2.0 in Marina Del Rey. Uh, owner there, Mitch, really nice guy. Had a good time talking to him. Uh, I guess he was at the Industry Summit, so some of you may have met him, but he also gave me for money. Uh, it was kind of a fair exchange that way. A uh, box of Topps Chrome Football from this year. This I am going to open because I oh, that light. It's just a little yeah, Hollywood, right? How's that? Softens it just a bit, right? It still gives it a nice look. So yeah, so we have this sealed box of Topps Chrome. You know that I am hunting for Blake Bortles in here. So let's go to the table and see what we get. Actually, main question is, do I have my scissors? I don't know what happened to my scissors. And is the Pandora too loud in the background? I've got this little home office set up now where I can actually listen to the radio. Yes, that is cash. Now you guys know where to rob me. Well, I don't see my scissors. So... In a very unprofessional, but very Ivan move. Let's, uh, let's just get that guy right in there. There you go. I mean, I probably could have just done that with my fingers, but it's so much more fun with the scissors, you know what I mean? All right. I don't know if there's box toppers or what the odds are on anything in this product. Kind of cool how it has that thing pop up there. So if you were going to do this like a box at a store, like I like to do. Well, there was no box topper in this one if there were box toppers. Whenever I buy a box, I do this. doesn't matter. See? Look, you're at Ivan's store. Pick a pack. Oh, let's do this one. All right. So we'll set that right over there. Bring this down again. I believe, I could be wrong, maybe I did open a pack or two of this, but I don't think I did. So this could be my very first, and you see the traditional chrome, chrome bends there. Tops Chrome by Radiohead. Alright, we got Devonta, oh, there goes a mini. Mini Tom Savage, just flying out at us. Looks gold bordered to me, but that's just because it's chrome and shiny. Make sure that gets its own little spot. Devonta Freeman, Jordy Nelson, and Mike Wallace. Can I do this? Can I do a full setup? Yeah, I just scoot over. I can get it all in frame. Oh man, he's a real filmmaker. Pro Mini is shiny. Staring at me. He looks like John Elway. All right, now we've got Aaron Murray, rookie card. Another Chrome Mini, Derek Carr. Look at that. Super shiny, again, not numbered anything special. That one's green, though, where the Tom Savage is red. I wonder what the difference is. See the green and the red? Oh, apparently we just lost the internet. Ah, oh, there we go. Julian Edelman and Tavon Austin. Oh, come on, music. See, why is that one red and that one's green? Especially because they're both in the AFL. Hmm. All right. Also, I paid for this. So, we aren't necessarily giving away the hits, but I am glad that you're watching. I hope you're having fun. Jeff Janis. Oh, I see some color. Do you see that pink back there? Find a Will Sutton tops rookie. Jason Verrett, pink. Pink are numbered. Oh, 
sticking a bit to that Robert Quinn on the back. Anchor numbered out of 399. So this one is number 16 out of 399. Can you make that out? I guess it's backwards. Huh? But 16 out of 399 for that pink. All right. I'm trying to stay organized here because I don't have a lot of time. In fact, actually, I apologize to everybody that I owe a package to. I should not be opening cards. I should be packaging up cards, but I just needed a little break from life in general. So, Marquise Lee, rookie card. Eric Ebron, rookie card. Oh, camouflage. Jimmy Graham, the former saint. Should have opened this uh, this box three months ago. And Kiko Alonso. Looks like the camo ones are numbered out of 499. See that? 177 out of 499. Yimmy Graham. Yimmy Graham. So we got a pink and a camo. And I'm guessing from the 499 and the 399, those are probably two of the most common refractors. Are they considered refractors? Blue wave refractor, green refractor. I'll read it. I'll put it down here. Breast cancer. So there is a blue wave and a green refractor and an STS refractor that are a bit more common. Or no, I'm guessing STS is the camo. because That's right before BCA, which I know stands for breast cancer awareness. So STS, support troop systems, support the service. I am not trying to mock the service by any means. I'm just not very good with acronyms and don't know that one. Marcus Robertson, Roberson, sorry, George Atkinson, Andy Dalton. Looks like that is a refractor. No, just really no. It's got to be different. It's different. Uh, Clay Matthews. Where would the word refractor be on this if it were a refractor? Notice how it's like clear and shiny, more prismy and spectrumy. You probably can't because the definition isn't very high there. But it's definitely got a clear sheen to it that the other one doesn't. The other one is just sort of like a silveriness. This one has a clear sheen. Where do they say refractor? Could just be duping myself, but I'm going to keep that off on the side until I can properly investigate. Yeah, this green one doesn't say refractor on it anywhere. The camo one, the STS one, excuse me. Um, I guess it would be, yeah, refractors are one and three, so they must just not say refractor on them? I don't know. You know what, I bet you if I look at the little, uh, yeah, let's do that. So this one is 10956. This one is 10956. Hmm. Are these ones 10956 too? No, those are different. All right, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it just looks shiny to my weird eye. Jared Aberderis, Terrence West, Calvin Johnson. See, that's another one that's in the middle, and it's got a different sheen to it, and it's in the snow. But again, it's 10956, which is the same as that. Uh, what I'm talking about there is the little black number in the very bottom series number. Usually with things like SP variations, they put a different one on there. But, I mean, I'm 100% certain that I'm seeing two different things here. I don't know if you can make that out without the light. But see how much clearer the Calvin Johnson seems than the Pierre Garçon? I'm going to assume that that's because it's a refractor. And what happened to my music? Just because it's Limited network connection. Come on. I'm not even on the internet. I haven't uploaded this yet. This is just recording straight to my TV. Oh god, it's been nine and a half minutes already. I'm sorry. If you guys are still watching, you are super fans and you are awesome. Alright. Carlos Hyde. Austin Seferin Jenkins. Denarius Moore. And Nick Foles.
I mean, seriously, I have to imagine those are refractors, because refractors are supposed to be one in three, and I've opened a large number of packs now. Uh, well, three packs in a row without a hit. Oh, I see some blue. It's probably, it looks really cool, but it's probably just a blue wave, which is not that uncommon. I think they're one per box. Carlos Hyde. Yeah. See, this always, this is another thing that bugs me just a little bit. One, it does not say refractor anywhere on the back, so that doesn't help me with my other scenario. But at the same time, like, look at how freaking cool this card is. Like, this card is super cool. This card, no offense to the troops, is only kind of cool. So why don't they make these, like, limited? You know, lie to me. Tell me that this technology is hard to do, and this wave refractor makes it super rare. They did this with the uh, X-Fractors this year. In Bowman Football, X-Fractors were numbered out of 10 and super scarce, so I went and splurged on this uh, Blake Bortles. And then I bought some Bowman Platinum Baseball. And I got, like, in a, in a blaster, I got three X-Fractors. And I was like, that's ridiculous. I just hit the jackpot. They're not even numbered. They're like one in four packs. Oh, I see some color here. Maybe this is our auto. That would be fun. Josh Huff, Calvin Pryor, and non-auto. But, oh, some Jaguars. Cecil Shorts action. But look at that. What is that on there? Is that a booger? You can see that, that black spot there? It looks like a booger. I got a boogered shorts. I got... <laughs> Oh, boy. It's either a booger or a flattened bug. Yeah. Look at that. How much would you pay me to eat it? Tweet me at, at Watch the Breaks. I'm going to put this in an Ultra Pro sleeve. We'll see if any of you can afford my quota. Ah, oh, it's going to the trash. Never mind. So that gold, or green, the green is not numbered. What? Brian Hartline. Let's look at this. So now this green parallel Cecil Shorts. Am I blind or is there no number on that? So what makes this special? Let's look at what they say here on the cards. Sequentially numbered base parallels. Star means sequentially numbered. So they don't start numbering them until they get to the STS refractor. So this must be a green refractor. 1 in 24, non-sequentially numbered. Okay. Yeah, see, this is just another, it's just like, why? Why is it not numbered? Number it out of 1999 like you do with the gold and the top space. I don't mind, but just let me know. You know, you do it with the Star Wars Digital. You, you number the whites. I mean, you don't number them, but you at least give me a count on them. Oh, gripe, gripe, gripe. Jeremy Hill, it's a good one, C.J. Mosley, Randall Cobb, non-sequentially numbered thing that I think might be a refractor, and Monty Ball. Oh my god, how many packs of this are there? 50 packs per box. It doesn't actually say on the front of the box how many packs there are. Another slightly annoying thing. There it is. 24 packs. Oh, God. We're just getting started. Bruce Ellington. Oh, got a Colorado. Colorado. It looks like pink, which I think means uh, $3.99, but we'll see. Oh, Logan? Logan Thomas. Or, as his autograph says, well, that's not a horrible autograph to get in the box. Oh, and guess what? Guess what? Guess who doesn't know their chrome? That is number 15 out of 75. It is not numbered out of 399. And it is an on-card auto. So where are my Ultra Pro sleeves? There's my big thick top loaders, bruh. That's not what I'm looking for. What I am looking for is thin top loaders, but sleeves. I was not prepared for this break at all. Come on, thin sleeves. Oh my god. 
gosh. No one's ever going to buy this Logan Thomas now that they've seen how long it's been outside of a pack and not in a sleeve. Um, well, I will find those slightly later, but I set it aside on top of a very treasured card, so that's pretty cool. Well, dang it, where are my sleeves? I am going to edit the crap out of this video so that I look cool and not like a doofus. Didn't even see what was in the rest of the pack. We got Eric Berry and Le'Veon Bell. Seriously, come on. Oh, there's team sleeves. That's not what I'm looking for, though. Team sleeves. Ah. Look at that. Should have started off with these. All right. Logan Thomas. The time has come. And I think I got it in there without denting up the corner. Ooh. Ooh, what's that? Someone needs to go on a diet. I had pizza for dinner. Whole Foods pizza. But they lie to you there. They make you think that everything is healthy because it's whole. Newsflash. The pizza at Whole Foods is still going to give you a belly. All right. Logan Thomas. Thanks, Tops Thomas. That's his name. Logan Thomas, Luti. He shouldn't have been that tired by number 15. Could have at least gotten like three letters on there. All right. Who else is having fun? Now there's only one, yeah, one rookie autograph per box. But I know, I know you collectors out there are thinking maybe this is the box that has two. Maybe Top's messed up in our favor. Taylor Lewin, Scott Crichton, ooh, Peyton Manning, this is shiny. Again, probably something that is not numbered. Look at that. So maybe that is a refractor. Maybe that's just a base refractor. Doesn't say. Doesn't say anywhere. Pierre Thomas. So we got all these shiny wave lines. And no description whatsoever of what the hell that means. So let's see if there is a silver wave refractor that's non-sequentially numbered. Refractor, blue wave refractor, green refractor, BCA refractor, black, blue, sepia, gold, red, super refractor, printing plate. This is not a printing plate. I'll come back to that. Short print base variations. Oh, i got to go back through and look for those. Rookie autograph. Um, oh, those BCA Refractor Rookie Autographs, one in 879, so that's pretty decent. Pulsar Refractor, Gold Refractor, Super Refractor, Rookie Autograph Patch, Dual Tops Minis, Inserts, Rookie Autograph Variations. Um, yeah. So maybe that's just a refractor. Maybe that's what a refractor looks like. And maybe I'm just blind on those other cards and seeing two different types of silver. Uh, sounds like a card chat topic to me. Dry Archer. Oh, that's a cool card. That's a real cool card for a basish insert. Fantasy Focus. You guys aren't getting it on here, but the chrome makes this pop. Pop. Up. That's pretty cool. Joe Flacco and Earl Thomas. I wonder what those fantasy focus cards are. Probably one in 10, one in 24, something like that. I'm sure it's nothing crazy, but 63 tops, many, yes, yeah, so it's in all of that. 
fantasy focus. Thousand yard club. Oh, they actually made those pretty rare in these. Blue wave super fractor autograph. Four thousand yard club. Fantasy focus. One in twelve. Refractors are one in one thousand six hundred and thirty-three. So this is a cool card, so I'm going to guess it's a refractor. So I'll sell that to you for 10 bucks because I think it's a refractor because it's shiny. And apparently they don't say refractor on them when they are refractors. Oh, this is why you don't break after midnight. It's why you don't get into deep relationship conversations after midnight, and you don't break after midnight. Stephen Morris, not my favorite uh, Jaguars quarterback, but Cody Latimer, die-cut rookie card. I don't know what the deal is with that, but that's pretty cool. Deshaun Jackson and Mario Williams. This Cody Latimer is going to be the second card that goes pop right into a sleeve. Oh, come on. Come on. Stop buffering. Do you guys listen to Fits in the Tantrums at all? If not, you should. These guys are absolutely awesome. I love them. It's almost like the lead singer watched Fly to the Concords and thought, that band actually has a cool style, they just need better writing. Uh, so die cut, chrome rookie die cut inserts are 1 in 24. So that's the one per box, I guess, of that. I'll give that to my buddy Tim, he's a Broncos fan. Maybe he'll like that. Brent Murphy. Oh, we got another fantasy focus. Adrian Peterson, refractor, one in 1633. I don't know, it's probably not a refractor, but Adrian Peterson. Tony Romo and Arian Foster. Sorry guys, I do this for fun. I'm not just looking for the hits. It's boring, it takes a long time. I enjoy the cards as they come out. Mr. Seastrunk, Eric Ebron Tallboy, probably not a refractor, looking at that, it's not that special, um, but still good nonetheless, Justin Tuck and Alfred Morris, dang, what happened to my tunes, come on Pandora, Got my heart be racing. You are more than just a dream. All right. Oh, wait. Hey, Michael Sam. Welcome to the league. Bishop Sankey. Julio Jones. Again, I would call that a refractor. It's got a different sheen to it than the one right next to it. But, I don't work for tops. I don't work for you. Actually, I might if you're one of my seven clients and you have to be watching this video because I want to see just what I do with my free time. Yes, it is after midnight. Tom Savage, Devin Street, Patrick Willis. Extra shiny, chromey card. I'm telling you. Not doing anybody any favors. Not doing anybody any favors. All right, Louis Nix, Aaron Colvin, Wes Welker, Percy Harvin. Still haven't gotten a Bortles base. That would be a nice little touch on top of that Logan Thomas. Karun Reed, Trey Mason, Reggie Wayne, and Patrick Peterson. Alright. 
say that every time, like I'm getting all excited, like you guys were waiting, and here I am, Kadeem Carey, ah, oh, Kelvin Benjamin, cool, uh, it's a cool card, that's the uh, 1985 throwback, those are cool autos to get to, so, Aaron Rodgers, 10956, yeah, so that's not... Wondering if maybe I got a short print variation in there somewhere. I'm gonna have to go back and look through all those for that. Cyrus Kanukin. Oh, hey, we got another one right there. Teddy Bridgewater. Teddy Bridgewater, Chrome, 1985, parallel. Jamal Charles and Josh Gordon. Oops, pack split incorrectly. Split like my pants on school photo day. That didn't have a lasting impact on me, no, not at all. I still think about it to this day. It's not what nightmares are made of. Oh, hey, we got another 85. So these must not be, they're better than 1 in 12, apparently, because I just got three of them in a row, which makes me think that this last one is also going to be one. Uh, 1985, 1-6, yeah. So, probably guaranteed a 1985 in here. Unless, let's see if they have refractors of those. They do, 1-1,225. in 1, Gold refractors, pulsar refractors, super refractors. I gotta be honest, a 1985 super refractor of one of these guys? Heck, it could even be of Logan Thomas. That would be a cool card. Super Bowl quarterback champion. Super Bowl champion, yeah, yeah, you get the idea. AJ McCarron. So we didn't do bad on our 85 inserts. Some good names there. But Victor Cruz and Robert Griffin III. All right, so that is my box of Topps Chrome. Now time to go see if I can't get 10 bucks for that Logan Thomas somewhere. Thank you, Topps. Thank you, Bullpen 2.0. Thank you, Ultra Pro, for the protection. Uh, thank you, you, for watching. Go check us out on Twitter, at Watch the Breaks. Check us out on YouTube, right here. Uh, check us out on Instagram, at Watch the Breaks. And you can check us out on Facebook, at Watch the Breaks. Though a lot of that content ends up doubling up. Facebook, I don't actually do as much on probably ridiculous now do you put them in like this or it looks like the back is telling me to put it in the other way but I always I like it like that where you can read his name but then the back is upside down it's okay you can't win them all design team all right well I'm gonna let you go but I will be seeing you again soon